Hello, this is Steven with Gravitate, and today we're going to be talking about event tracking within Google Analytics and how you can use event tracking to help you understand the behavior of your users and how your website's providing you value. So events at a high level can really help you understand just about anything on your websites and how users interact. It could be as specific as a button click on the footer or a video play or just a page view. Um, really anything that your heart desires you can accomplish with event tracking through analytics. And what I'd recommend if you aren't using a content management system, um, and you may need to do some markup changes even if you are using a content management system, is to look at this developer article by Google and really uh, carefully read through it and have your developer go through and add event categories, actions, labels. We'll talk about what all that stuff is. Um, but making sure that you do this correctly is very, very important to ensure that you're getting the right information sent to Google Analytics. So for the case of WordPress, we have actually built a plugin that makes everything a lot easier for event tracking. And what you can do is install the Gravitate event tracking for Google Analytics plugin. And once you associate your Google Analytics account with the plugin or install the snippet within the head section, um, you can go ahead and start adding in events based on a selector. By default, we've actually given uh, users through this plugin kind of basic things that we have uh, found to be helpful when tracking the ROI of a website, such as uh, contacts with uh, emails and mobile clicks and form submissions and uh, PDF downloads and that kind of thing is all great to know, but you can go in there and add custom selectors uh, based on other things that you'd like to track. Add in your category, action, and label and understand um, you know, really where these events are happening from and able to kind of categorize and put your events into buckets and goals and analytics. So with all that being said, if we flip over to Google Analytics when all is said and done, and if you click under behavior and go to events and select overview, you'll be able to look at your events and categories and actions and labels again. So let's take a look here. So we're at the category level. We have links, social, and form submits. But at the action level, um, we'll say, yes, the form was submitted. People viewed our social. People clicked to email us. We got downloads. And then even more specific at the label level, people clicked uh, external link on this specific blog article or on this uh, contact page. So you can get a better understanding of where your events are happening. Once you have events set up, you can either continue to come here at the um, uh, events overview and, and look at your top events and kind of go in depth within analytics to understand where these events are coming from using secondary dimensions to say, oh, okay, let's uh, see all these events that are happening from uh, Facebook or from Google or whatever. So we can see, oh, okay, 68 of the link clicks um, came from Google traffic. So we know that g users that use Google tend to click on links more or whatever it is. Uh, beyond that, we can use events to help set up our goals for the website. And goals can also be just about anything. So if you click on this little admin panel and select goals, um, you can s create any kind of goal you want really. I mean, it could be um, a destination or an event. And uh, for events, you can go in and say that your um, goal setup would be custom. And the description of the event, you can say whatever you want there. And it's based on a analytics event. And what we could do is say that the category of the event equals email. So this is really why um, getting clear about labeling your event fields is super important that way when you're going to set up goals and other things and trying to aggregate this information into a dashboard or something that you have the correct labels in place so that way you're not surprised when you hit <clears throat> goals and you're not quite sure what category uh, this email is under or, or uh, phone call or whatever it is. 
So that is kind of event tracking at a high level. If you have any questions about event tracking, feel free to get in touch with us at gravitatedesign.com. Uh, wish you the best of luck and hope to hear from you soon. Bye-bye.